Hey guys, I'm going to be going over a few different tips to do while you are reading, whether that be with your child or if you're the child and you're reading with your parents or if you're reading with siblings or relatives. They're going to be basic and simple and it's going to be something that everybody's able to do. So we're going to look first at this book I have here and we're going to look at the title. The title of this book says Second Grade Rocks. And I'm gonna use that information and I'm gonna look at the picture and use that information to make a prediction. So the first thing you can do when you're reading a book, look at the cover, look at the title, see what's going on and make a prediction. So I could predict that this book is about some kids that they're in second grade and they love it and they're going to show me some different projects and give me reasons why they love second grade. Another important thing to look at is the author and the illustrator, okay? The next thing I'm gonna to talk to you about is thinking of the characters throughout the story. So when you're in the middle of reading um, or at the end, you can ask, who were the characters? What were they like? What did they look like? Were they friendly? Were they kind? Were they helpful? Um, were they the bad guy? Then you can talk about this setting and different ways that this setting is described to you in words or in pictures. So maybe they show you that they're at the beach and they show you the seashells and they show you the seagulls and the fish and the sand. Um, or maybe they describe that to you with their words and they just talk about the sand and you can really visualize what's going on in your brain. The next thing is problem and solution. As you're reading, you will come across a problem in the story and then it will resolve itself or someone will save the day or it will be solved some way. And pointing out that problem and solution is big with kids that are developing that fluency and that comprehension. That is so important. So try and go over the problem and solution of each story that you're reading. And then lastly, we have tricky words. So sometimes you're reading and you come across a word and you just have no clue how it's pronounced. It looks crazy. The sounds don't make any sense with the letters. And that happens to adults too. That happens to me sometimes. And I have to really slow myself down. Think about the sounds. You read the sentence before, the sentence with the word, and the sentence after the word. And you try and really figure out using your context clues, what could that word mean? You can replace it with a word you do know and see if it makes sense with the story. And if all else fails, you can go to the dictionary. And if you don't have a book dictionary, you can use um, online. You can go on your phone on the dictionary, on your tablet. You can use all of those dictionaries. They all work the same. So you can use those tricky words as vocabulary words with your kids or with your siblings or with yourself. And you can try and see how you could use that word maybe today sometime or tomorrow and circling back to that prediction you made about the cover. So once we have read this book, well, was it about three friends in second grade who enjoyed it and made projects and crafts or was I wrong? It's okay to be wrong about a prediction just as long as you're actually predicting about what's going on here and not saying something crazy like, oh, this is about three astronauts that go to outer space and find polar bears because that's not what's on the cover. So um, those are just some tips that you can use over these next couple weeks while you are reading with yourself, your siblings, your family, or your kids. We miss y'all already. Please remember to read. We love you so much, and we will talk to you soon. Bye.